Hi ladies, my name is Heather Raftery. I'm an Autos Jiu Jitsu Black Belt under Andre Galvao, and I've been asked uh, by Girls and Geese to teach you one of my favorite techniques. So what I'm gonna show you is what I call a running man pass from De La Hiva Guard. I hope you enjoy. So let's get started. My UP here, Kyle, is gonna put me in De La Hiva. Now remember with the De La Hiva, what his goal is, is he's grabbing the opposite pants, He's curling his De La Hiva leg around my forward thigh, hooking the foot inside. And this leg is what I call um, the distance keeper. So he has it in between my hip and my knee, and he's creating distance. So if I get too close, he's gonna push me away, right? He can also switch to a hook and pull me closer if he wants the bottom of my, my pants here. So we're gonna start here. I need to kill this. Usually, if you're in a gi, um, I do this both gi and no gi, if you're in the gi, he's going to be grabbing your collar, just like this. So we have to address the collar first, because it can create a lot of problems for us later. So what I'm going to do is I'm looking at the direction of the fingers, and I know that his fingers are going this way, so the weakest point in his grip is back that way. I need to control his grip and break it this way. So I'm keeping it, I make it nice and tight, and I'm going to break it away from this, his fingers in the path of least resistance. Boom. Once I have that, I'm gonna keep the sleeve just for a second, and I'm gonna address this leg on my, my thigh. So you have two options. You can either pull it in and come in, or my favorite, and the one I use for this running, running man pass, is I'm pushing it down. I'm pushing it down with the C grip. You can also push it down with the pant grip. I prefer C grip even in the D. So I pop my hips out just to give myself a little space, because if I'm here and I'm pushing against, his toes might curl around my thigh. So I'm popping out and I'm pushing it down. Now I'm coming back in and I'm sitting on it. Now you'll see, the closer that I have his heel to his butt, the less leverage he has to hit me, or uh, uh, pick me up and maybe push me over his head. So I'm really squatting down. I'm keeping his ankle close to his butt. I'm grabbing the outside pants. There's always gonna be a little fold right here in the, the pants. So I'm sticking my four fingers inside and grabbing that now. I'm releasing the hand. Right? I don't care that he has my grip because I've addressed this leg. I'm going to grab his collar and I'm going to do a slight bump up only enough to get the tip of my knee inside. So you'll see that I've inserted it and both my toes are pointing in the same direction. Right? So both my toes, I've in, come up, inserted, and both my poses, or toes, toes are pointed in the same direction. Right? So he's here, I'm sitting. He can grab my collar, I don't care, I have the pant leg. Popping up slightly, coming in. Now I'm gonna do a little sprawl to the side. And I'm smashing his legs. I still have a hold of his pant leg, I still have a hold of the collar. I can even come up, take a deeper grip on the collar, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, uh, disperse my weight to the outside, back step. Right, from here you can go straight to side control, or my favorite, you can go to mount. So I'm punching his legs down, going to mount, just like this. I'm give you another view, right here. So again, he has De La Hiva, maybe he has my collar, he has a foot on the leg, on the thigh right here. I've gotta address the collar rip, because he's gonna be way too strong, he's gonna cause me issues. So I'm finding a path of least resistance, that's always a direction away from his fingers. His fingers are pointed that way. I'm causing this to become taut, and then I'm breaking his grip that way. I'm keeping this sleeve. Reason I keep the sleeve is he's just gonna re-grab, right? He's not just gonna hang out. So I break the grip, I keep the sleeve. I'm gonna take my C grip on top of his, his ankle, and I'm gonna do a little pooch back. So remember that, a little bit of a twerk. Right, so I twerk back so that I can shove his, his leg down. Boom, and then I sit on it. I'm doing a little bit of a sumo squat, keeping his heel close to his ass. I'm taking my, my finger grip in the pocket of his knee and grabbing the material there. Now, I don't care that I have his hand, I'm gonna switch for the collar. Even if he grips my collar, that's fine. I've addressed his first leg, now I'm ready to address the De La Higa hook. Right, even if he's grabbing my, my ankle, when I do this uh, pass, he has no choice but to let go because his fingers are gonna get smashed. So I'm sitting in the sumo grip. I lift slightly, just enough to put the point of my knee between his thigh and his calf. 
and I'm turning my toes. Both toes go in the same direction, that way. Now I'm going to shove his knee down and I'm gonna do a baby sprawl so that I land right here. And I want my chest to be on top of his thighs, just like this, right? And so I keep his leg smashed down between my chest and my arm. I'm gonna re-grip maybe a little higher so that I can really do a little bit of a cross face when I back step. Now when I back step, you see this inside knee is just gonna turn in and I back step out. And I'm looking towards his feet. I'm keeping this grip nice and strong. Keep the grip. Now I can even transition to regular side control. Or my favorite, I'm just gonna go straight to mouth. Stretch his leg out, stomp over, get my four points. Another view. So remember, we have this De La Hiva uh, hook here on this side. He's usually turning his knees slightly this way, right? He's controlling my distance with this other leg. He's grabbing my, my collar. I'm going to get my base nice and strong, path of least resistance, break his grip, keep his sleeve. Now I'm gonna grab his, his knee, the side of his knee, or I'm, rather I create, make that C grip. I'm doing a little bit of a twerk, sitting down on his, his feet right here, just like that. I'm grabbing his, the outside of his knee, and then I can switch to his collar, bring him slightly up, protecting my knee inside my, my knee. Now he, he's still keeping the De La Hiva grip, right, as best as he can, but you'll see that it kind of crunches his feet as soon as I do the sumo squat. So I elevate, he's gonna re De La Hiva if he wants, and then I'm just pointing, taking the point of my knee, and you'll see my toes appeared here, both toes are pointed that direction. Now I'm gonna take this side of his knee, I'm gonna smash it down as I sprawl. Right here, you'll see I'm putting all my pressure on top of his, his thighs, keeping that grip here. I'm gonna re-grip a little bit higher, and then I'm taking, I'm putting all the weight into my knee as I turn to this hip, back step, back step, right? I'm punching his leg down. And you can either go to side control or you can go to mouth. So I'm punching this down. I'm breathing my leg up, releasing only when my legs pass. Right to mouth. Right? So one more time. This was a nice view. Live action. Right? We're playing. He gets a De La Hiva. He gets a, the collar grip. Pop. Keep this here, here. Cool. Um, don't, uh, don't hesitate to let me know. If you have any questions at all, you can reach me at my Instagram, at Jiu Gypsy. Um, thank you to my DP Kyle for helping me and taking the abuse. Um, I look forward to showing you more techniques in the future. Oops.